Okay, well, okay, today we're looking at journal page 10, composition of functions. f of g equals f d of x equal to x, and g of f equal to g f of x equals x. When the result of f of g and g of f is x, then f of x and g of x are inverses. You would update your notes. Now your notes are updated, let's take a look at the examples. All right, so determine if the functions are inverses using each other using the composition function. So I'm going to do f of x in orange, and I'm going to use g of x in purple. OK, so f of g So what that means is we're putting the function g into f. So that's 2 times 1 half x minus 3 divided by 2 plus 3. Okay. So now we're going to simplify. Well, 2 times 1 half x is 1x. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Divided by 2 is negative 3 plus 3. We can see here that negative 3 plus 3 becomes 0, so you're left with 1x. So, so far, f and g could be inverses. Okay, but now we need to do g of f. So g of f. So now we're going to put the function f into g. So that's 1 half 2x plus 3 minus 3 divided by 2. Okay, so 1 half times 2x is 1x. 1 half times 3 is plus 3 divided by 2 minus 3 divided by 2. So the 3 halves minus 3 halves is 0, so we're left with 1x. So since f of x is equal to x and g of x is equal to x, we can say that f of x and g of x are inverses. All right, let's take a look at example two. So again, f of x I'm gonna, is going to be in orange, and g of x is going to be in purple. OK, so let's do f of g. So we're going to put the function g into f of x. So OK. So when you square screw, they become power of 1. You're left with x minus 5 plus 5. Well, negative 5 plus 5 is 0, left with x. So, so far, f and g could be inverses, OK? But now let's do g of x. So now we're going to put function f into g of x. So that's the square root of x squared plus 5 minus 5. Well, 
5 plus 5 is 0. We're left with the square root of x squared. The square root and square become power of 1, so you're left with x. Okay, so f of x is equal to x, g of x is equal to x, so we can say that f of x and g of x are inverses. I right, go ahead and finish up example two. All right, let's take a look at example three. Okay, so again, I'm going to do f of x in orange and g of x in purple. Okay, so that's f of g. So again, we're putting the function g into f of x. So that's negative 3 divided by 2, parentheses 1 half x plus 3 divided by 2 plus 4. Okay. Now we simplify. Negative 3 half times 1 half is negative 3 divided by 4x. Negative 3 halves times 3 halves is negative 9 fourths and then plus 4. Now you can see here that this will not simplify to be x, so we can stop because f of x and d of x both have bx. So since f of x is not x, we can stop now and say that f of x and g of x are not inverses. Okay. Let's take a look at example four. So again, f of x, I'm going to do an orange and g of x in purple. So f of g equals, so again, we're putting the function g into f of x. So that's parentheses the cube root of x plus 6 plus 6 cubed. Okay, well, 6 plus 6 is 12, so we're left with the cube root of x plus 12 cubed. That is not going to simplify to be x, so we stop there. Since f of, f of g is not x, then we know we can say that f of x and g of x are not inverses. All right, if you would, go ahead and finish up your examples and start working on your assignment and have a wonderful Wildcat day.